Hey there YouTube, it's PD Two Finger, and this video I'm just going to be complaining about advertising. So I watch YouTube, I, I haven't watched television. The only time I see TV is if I'm in a doctor's office or if I'm waiting to have a colonoscopy. I'll, I'll, they'll have a TV and there'll be a big remote and I'm in bed with the IV and I'll turn that on and it will be some morning show with a person that I can't identify their gender or their race talking about a kale breakfast dish and people are applauding now we got rid of our TV when they did the analog to digital changeover so I don't know 30 years ago 15 years ago it's been somewhere in between there um, and for a long time before that, I wasn't consuming television. So when I, when I see advertisements now, like television advertisements, they really, they, they'll strike me. I'm, I think I'm more sensitive to it. Like where people who watch a lot of TV can just kind of tune out or enjoy or tune out during the commercials. For me, um, I'm a bit more impatient with it, so it's nothing to really to brag about. But more recently, I've noticed Hills, a company called Hills, and they have these Pixar-looking animations. Okay. I have not been able to make my way through either one of these, but they've popped up and they've, um, they ground my gears. There are certain things that I don't feel like advertisers have a right, you know, like there's topics that you just, even if the almighty dollar is what's steering the ship, you shouldn't, you shouldn't tread those waters, okay? Can we not? So if you're watching YouTube and you see these Pixar-like animations come on and there's a pet in it, my advice to you is to red X, next, click off, whatever you need to do, do not expose yourself to this. Pet death, anything having to do with a pet and its well-being, I don't want to see. That's the last thing. This is, this is a cruel, cruel, cruel world. We, my wife and I, we are steward we have a pet and we take good care of him and we're protective of him. My wife is helicopter over, unbelievably overprotective and concerned and worried, thinking that he's gonna harm himself or he's, he's gonna die. If she, if she hasn't seen him in five minutes, she thinks that he's dead. <laughs> so I, that's, that's my, my reality, but um, watching YouTube and up oh, here comes the hills obviously big budget tug at your heartstrings they want you to watch the whole thing and it's it's an Italian woman and her husband is singing he's going and then he dies so she goes and gets a dog who looks like this And then that dog knocks over their 25th anniversary plate with his picture on and shatters it. And at that point, I know what's coming next. They're, that's, they're, they're telegraphing that they're going to break your heart. Unless you buy their product, your pet's going to die. How dare you? Hills, how dare you?
okay? We just went through this. We, we lost someone in our family way prematurely, and I'm still heartbroken from that, okay? So you don't need to bring that feeling up to me when I'm trying to watch a, a video about a, 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 a witch who's roaming around on a dirt road in Pakistan at three in the morning. <laughs> the other one, I've never, I've, it's some young girl and she's got this kitten that's unbelievably cute. She rides a scooter and the kitten goes in the helmet of the scooter and she comes home crying because she lost her job and then she can't afford the fucking pet food. And that's where I shut it off because I don't I don't want to know what's going to happen next. Is she going to turn the gas on in the oven and blow the flame out? And they're both going to just go, go night nights for the last time? I don't want to know where Hills is taking that. I don't want to know. And how dare you, Hills. Hills Pet Food or whatever the name of this company is. How, how dare you? You should be ashamed of yourself at even suggesting that even suggesting that especially in the middle of this when a big mac is fucking eighteen dollars because of let's go brandon or trump or whatever it is whatever kind of bullshit that that this is that's com that's coming down on us now that's the last thing that they're programming us for is that you know, you're going to, are, are you kidding me? That's what you're going to lay on me when I'm, I'm trying to see somebody exploring uh, the uh, 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 defunct insane asylum in Turkmenistan in the basement and there's a shadow person behind the door. Now the last one, I, I, I literally could not believe this. It was footage of a lion or a, what's the female one? Oh, a lioness. Okay, this thing didn't have a mane. Well, then it would be probably the female. It was a girl, it's, I think it was called Sheba. So this thing is in a pen, it's in, it's in a like, where you would keep a horse, like a stable, and, and they're filming. And it's freaking out. It's like, rah, rah. It's, it's just like, it's basically saying like, F you. So I don't know if they've got a guy in a, in a demon costume jumping back and forth with a, pit, with a pitchfork where you can't see to like, just to get this thing feisty and aggravated. And on the screen, it says, Sheba, was has PTSD from all of the bombs that went off in the Ukraine war and you need to send money for Sheba. <laughs> it's like for one, you're in the room with this beast that's obviously in duress. This thing is flipping out. And more than likely, they're probably playing Slayer over a PA system that you can't see. And they've got a guy in a in a in a demon costume poking at it with a with like fire. Probably probably what's going what they did to get this thing to act the way it did. And then they're gonna use again the war in the Ukraine to try to wring shekels out of people's pockets. How dare you the people that made that commercial they should suffer a death by a lion that lion that lioness should be unleashed on them when they go to the bank and spin the vault and open it up to get their shekels that lion should come out and just maul them you know tear tear them limb for limb and then piss on their bleeding neck hole so that's my uh, little diatribe on advertising. 
you guys. Hug your pets and peace.